hello everyone welcome back to mesh explorer in this video i'm going to solve and find the value of this beautiful math problem without using a calculator so here i will try to solve this using two different methods in the first method here we will try to factorize these two bases 900 and 600 so therefore we can write these two bases as 900 can be written as 9 times 100 raised to the power 3 minus 600 can be written as 6 times 100 raised to the power 3 now here in these two numbers we will use an exponential identity a times b whole raised to the power in identity so here we will use this one exponential identity in both the terms a times b whole raised to the power in can also be written as a raised to power n times b raised to power n so using this identity here in both the terms we will apply the power take the power on both the numbers in the base so this equation this number will become is equal to this will become 9 raised to power 3 times 100 raised to power 3 minus this will become 6 raised to power 3 times 100 raised to power 3 there 100 raised to power 3 is common in both the numbers in both the terms so we will take out common from both the terms so this will become 100 cube times here only 9 cube is left minus and here only 6 cube is left then we will try to find out the value of 6 cube 9 cube and 100 cube so we will find out these values here first we will find 6 cube so therefore we can write 6 cube is 6 times 6 times 6 now what is this value 6 times 6 is 36 and that 6 times 6 is 6 times 6 is 36 so 6 3 will be carried 6 times 3 is 18 18 plus 3 is 21 so this is 216 now we will try to find out the value of 9 cube so we can write 9 cube is the product of 9 3 times 9 times 9 times 9 now 9 times 9 is 81 and 81 times 9 is 9 times 1 is 9 and 9 times 8 is above 72 so this is 729 now next we will find out 100 cube so we can write 100 cube as we can write 100 as 10 square whole raised to power 3 now here using an exponential identity we will multiply the power so this will become 10 raised to power 2 times 3 is 6 now what is 10 raised to power 6 10 raised to power 6 means we have to when we take power 6 over 1 so this is simply 1 and we will write six zeros because there is six in the power so we will write six zeros here so the value of 10 raised to power six is one million now here we will replace these three numbers six raised to power three with 216 nine raised to power three with 729 and 100 raised to power three with one million so this number will become this is equal to one million times the value of 9 cube is 729 minus the value of 6 cube is 216 now first we will subtract these two numbers and then we will multiply the result with this number so this will become 1 million times let's subtract these two numbers so here 9 minus 6 is 3 2 minus 1 is 1 7 minus 2 is 5 so the subtraction of this number gives him 513 we will multiply this number with 1 million so it is very simple now to multiply these two numbers we will start from the ones position and we will multiply this number with 1 million so 513 times 0 is 0 513 times 0 is 0 513 times 0 is 0 multiplying this number any number of, with any 0 is always 0 so with this it always gives him 0 with this 0 with this 0 and 513 times 1 is 513 
so this gives him 513 million so finally 513 million is our answer and our required value now here we will try to solve this problem using the second method so in second method here we will use a cubic algebraic identity a cube minus b cube algebraic identity so here inside this number we will use this cubic identity we can write a cube minus b cube is a minus b times a square plus a times b plus b square so using this cubic identity here this is a which is 900 and this is b which is 600 so using this cubic identity we can write this equation this number as this will become a minus b so a is 900 minus b is 600 times a square now a is 900 square plus a times b is 900 times b is 600 plus b square now b is 600 so this will become 600 square now we have to simplify these numbers so let's simplify these number here 900 minus 600 gives him 300 so this will become 300 times now what is the value of 900 square here 9 square is 81 so this will become 81 and there are two zeros so these zeros will become double because there is square or two zeros so there will be four zeros so this gives him 810,000 plus now what is the value of this here 900 times 0 is 0 910 times 0 is 0 900 times 6 is 6 times 0 is 0 6 times 0 is 0 and 6 times 4 is about 54 so this gives him 540,000 plus now what is the width of 600 square here 6 square is 36 and there are two zeros so these zero will become double so there will be four zeros so this will become 360,000 now we'll add these three numbers and then we'll multiply the result with 300 now to add these three numbers we will start from the ones position so 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0 now next 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0 comma 0 plus 0 plus 0 is again 0 now come to this one digit so 6 plus 4 is 10 10 plus 1 is 11 so this will become 1 1 will be carried to the next digit next is 3 3 plus 1 is 4 4 plus 5 is 9 9 plus 8 is 17 so this will become 7 and 1 so here the addition of this number gives him 1 million 710,000 times this number 3 we have to multiply these two numbers so it is very simple 300 times 0 is 0 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 no we have to multiply 300 with 171 so this is again very simple 171 times 0 is 0 171 times 0 is 0 and 171 times 3 is you have to multiply 171 with 3 so 3 times 1 is 3 3 times 7 is 21 so 1 2 will be carried 3 times 1 is 3 3 plus 2 is 5 so the product of these two numbers gives him 513 million so finally 513 million is our answer using the second method so here we solve this problem using two different methods now in last if you like this video so don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel for such a more interesting and step-by-step -step math videos thanks for watching